CZ 97B, 45 ACP, first shots. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a CZ 97 BD, full size, all steel frame, 45 ACP handgun. Many people consider this one of the finest 45s out there. I've had so many comments of people saying you have to check out the CZ in 45 ACP, the 97 model. You have so many 9mm, you really need to do that. Honestly, I've had my eyes on this for quite a while now, and I really wanted one a bit pricey MSRP 945, you know, kind of have to save up for it. But I caught a good deal at guns.com, bought it during my handgun splurge, and I could not be happier with it. The reason I have the Shadow 2 out here is because if this were a Shadow 2 or if CZ made a handgun at 45 ACP in the Shadow 2 model this would be it right here. You can tell by the aluminum grips very thin the full 4.65 inch barrel it mirrors the Shadow 2. Now the CZ Shadow 2 is regarded as one of the finest if not the finest 9 millimeter shooter out there so accurate you get the same type of performance right here with the 97 bd bd firing pin block and decocker so i went with the decocker model also available with a thumb safety only but hitting that lever right there will bring it into quarter cock i like that system i also have the same thing on my cz2075 Rammy. I went with the BD there. A little bit more expensive, but in my eyes, it is worth it. I mentioned the MSRP is $945, and if you go with this, you'll get this padded case. Now, I like this case, and the reason why is because many of the CZs just have everything in foam. This is cutout foam, a little thicker type of foam two 10 round magazines and a tool and I want to show you this because this is one of the features I find very unique with the 97 BD this is loaded I'm going to keep it out here so we can weigh the handgun both unloaded and loaded but it does have a barrel bushing right there it keeps the the barrel very stable and consistent adds to accuracy and I, I would have to attest to that here we have an unloaded firearm two 10 round magazines standard CZ magazines very nice I mentioned those aluminum grips check that out I think those are great you know people replace the aluminum grips with G10 grips I have no interest in doing that I like the original aluminum grips not only are they pretty well textured but i think they look super cool and have a nice feel to it front serrations it also has a loaded chamber indicator pin a lot of times you see a bar that, that'll that'll angle up a little bit and that'll give you an idea if you have a round in the chamber at least a visual or, or an even a feel to see if it's loaded perhaps it could be night out but uh but that's what it has a unique design by the way usually there's a bar that's just a pin that sticks up and it does have two dot rear sights and a fiber optic front sight much like the shadow 2 okay but the one thing that i found interesting is on the site it says tritium night sights this does not have tritium night sights so i'm not sure why cz put that on their site like that or this one, this, I bought it brand new, so I can't believe that it was modified any which way. No rail down below. Minor stippling in the front strap. Vertical serrations in the rear. Extended beaver tail and a very nice trigger. CZs are highly regarded as excellent handguns with very nice triggers. And this one is no different. I am measuring four pounds. With that single action trigger pull. Double action isn't bad either. And that's one of the things I noticed right away with the Shadow 2. That double action pull. I'm pretty sure I checked clear here. The single action pull is lighter here. 
but that double action pull is really nice somewhat modeled maybe just a hair heavier with the 97 bd excellent shooting handgun now i, I want to uh, weigh it because this is no doubt a heavy handgun and it will actually weigh very similar to a full-size 1911 two pounds nine and three quarters ounces we move that to just ounces 41 and three quarters or three eighths one of those but let me go ahead and put 10 rounds in here here's a full mag of 10 rounds we're looking at 48 and 7 eighths that'll put you right at 49 and 5 eighths ounces so you are edging toward 50 ounces loaded now just to give i've got these all over the place just to give a comparison we'll take a springfield operator and we'll put the 10 rounds on there 52 so a little heavier with the 1911 while well, i had the mag in for that but you get the idea it is a heavy handgun i want to show you how this disassembles because this barrel bushing is a very unique system we'll go ahead and pull that slide back just a little bit and use the mag to help push that pin out this is, or take out this pin make sure that's aligned properly and off comes the slide from the frame here we have an uncaptured recoil spring a polymer guide rod now some of the older models you'll notice that the guide rod is even smaller than that so this one they, they lengthened it a little bit over the years it does have a guide rod bushing right there but the the barrel will not come out and that is because it has that barrel bushing there so i'm going to move this counterclockwise to screw this off the threads are actually inside the slide so i screw that off well, there it goes off the table and then you'll see that that allows you to take out the barrel with that in there there is no play with this barrel at all none like the barrel will not move it can go one direction and one direction only and that is the cycling of the slide there is no play and i think that is really unique i've never seen anything like this before and i think cz is onto something with that barrel bushing with this 97 bd so there is a shot with the shadow two on the right the 97 bd on the left we'll see that the serrations look at the forward serrations there a little wider with the shadow two we look at the barrel length we'll see very similar from from this perspective you can hardly tell a difference you notice there are some serrations right on top of there the loaded chamber indicator and then here we are looking at the grip 17 rounds and 10 rounds of 45 acp but I, I am super happy with it i think it's great you know the the trigger pulls amazing on one on one point i had that trigger that single action trigger get away from me i was able to hit my target so it made it seem as if i knew what i was doing but you know i was transitioning and all of a sudden boom caught me off guard a little bit that's just a sign of a nice trigger and perhaps the lack of trigger control but i certainly enjoyed the pistol really enjoy this 97 bd like i said i've had my eyes on it for a while now so happy to get this into the collection and show it off and i i really uh, am fond of it you know as fond as i am with the shadow 2 and the sp01 and many other cz's i have my collection with cz continues to grow and this is one of the finest in that collection and that's the 97 bd so happy to have it and I'll be doing more with it in the future. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.